The Hallyu Frenzy has extended over to Nepal, where thousands of people are learning Korean. They hope to master the language enough for the chance to work here in Korea. Now, there are about 2,000 Korean language education centers across the nation of Nepal, and by some accounts, it's the most popular foreign language in the country. To many there, Korea is a dreamland of opportunity. In August, in the Nepalese capital of Kathmandu, there was a long line of young people waiting to take the employment permit system test of proficiency in Korean or EPS topic. Through this test, the Korean government will select 4,000 potential foreign workers from 40,000 candidates. This unexpected number of test takers has extended the test an extra day in the 28 testing centers. Anyone who wants to work in Korea must pass this test. I like Korea and I want to go there. I like the Korean people and the person, they are very nice. Uh, so, just I want to go there uh, for, the, for the job only. The biggest problem when living as a foreign worker is language. The Korean proficiency test allows these applicants to at least learn a few words, so it is unconditionally popular. Korean is the most popular language among the Nepalese, and Korea is the ultimate dreamland, where there is always a place to work and thus earn money. Korea is a very popular destination. It's getting more popular these days. And people are, uh, they are rushing. No matter whether they are educated or uneducated. Now Korea has become their dream, dreamland. Once the test started, those who couldn't enter the testing facilities began protesting. For the Nepalese, Korea and the EPS topic are two things they cannot give up. There are roughly 2,000 Korean language education centers all across Nepal. On the day of the test, the desire to pass the exam hung heavy in the air. Nepal earns $260 million through tourism, which mostly offers natural sites such as Mount Everest. The money one tourist dispense can support 10 Nepalese locals. However, reality says that Nepal cannot solely rely on tourism. Up until now, jobs were scarce due to a civil war that led to uncertain political and economic atmosphere. On top of that, Nepal's tendency to consider everything as part of fate is not helping to improve the job market either. <laughs> The practice of going abroad to look for work began in the 1980s. According to the latest statistics, there are roughly 2.5 million Nepalese workers abroad. Their combined wages make up 20% of Nepal's GDP. The average wage within Nepal is between 42 and 85 US dollars. Nepalese workers in Korea stand to gain between 857 and 1,030 US dollars. Moreover, benefits and the guarantee of basic human rights also attract many Nepalese. Security, 
मालिक से काम नगरी पोस्ट ने ना होने रहे थे सॉन्गी काम करने पर ने रहे थे भानी पनी सीख क्यों तेज पसी त्याग कुनी बेदबाब सही ना इनारा सारा हम दरान थे हंगुगी इल्चोंगे रोल मॉडल इरानन गो मानम बुम्यंगी इस हम दर नकी कोई को करुन यागी रल मानी दसमीदा तकि उली का इच जो युगियो हुए युगियो चंदु है का जिगो इनारा बोधा तो कुमिन सोधगी तो नजाता नंगो तो इस हम दर चार्जिंग हाव इको करुमे तो प्रगागो चिनान हन ओशी बिनान तो आने हंगुगन इरके पाचन हैं नंदे उन्हें बहाना हमें सो इस आराम दरी हंगु हंगु के स्पेयर या हंदा इरन इंशिकन संधानी कहाँ है जो इसमें दा At the airport on August 30, 2010. 대부분이 다그 중동 쪽이나 그리고 특별 여기 보시면 저기 손님들 중에 빨간 모자 쓰시고 가시는 분들이 우리 산업 인력 공단에서 그 EPS 허가제 이어가지고 이번에 이제 한국으로 가시는 저 너무. These 18 travelers were waiting for their turns to leave Nepal for Korea past the inaugural EPS topic held in 2008. This man, who is a son, father and husband all in one, is living in order to guarantee his family a better life. The Nepalese know of Korea's attempts to overcome poverty by sending migrant workers overseas in the past. This resulted in Korea becoming one of the top ten rising economies. This is not something for one Nepalese only. This is a tiny step for closer Korean populations. Yeah, I'm an opportunity to get going on around the time.